Now you know. Now you know what Grey Dwarves are. Yes, the Grey Dwarves. Now I know about them. I certainly do. But what you don't know yet is how you're supposed to deal with them. If you're frightened, they can see it in you. That's when they're most dangerous. Hmm? Well, that goes for everything. And not just grey dwarves. So the safest thing is not to be frightened in Mattis' forest. Not frightened, fine. I know that now. I wonder what Ronya's up to. Nothing too crazy, I hope. It's lovely not to have to sit up there with the menfolk. Peace and quiet. Not to mention the smell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of you, Ronya. You know, a robber's life is not as much fun as it once was. It's no life for you and Beard. <coughs> it used to be fun, but now it's tougher. The soldiers will hang you before you know it. I couldn't bear to think of what might happen to you and Birk. You're all good, kids. You shouldn't be out there robbing anyone. Yes, it's awful. I wouldn't want anyone to steal from me. So why would I do that to anyone else? Hmm. <clears throat> Ronya. <gasps> I've got a secret I've been waiting to tell. <laughs> Now listen very carefully. I tell you, you might need this one day. There's a special place I know. And that's it. The salting's done. That'll keep our meat all winter. And the rest of it... We'll just smoke and put aside. Good evening, Lovis. I was just wondering if I could make a small request. Mm. As you're cooking a delicious elk, remember, all the tenderest bits are for toothless old men. Old men like me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
horse, eh? <laughs> One day I'll catch and tame a wild horse all by myself, just like you did at my age. Yes, but you'll have to be really fast and strong enough. I am. I am strong enough. You'll see I can. <laughs> It's about time you came down. I could hardly wait. Especially since you saved me from the rump hobs and harpies. It's great to see you. Hmm. And you too. I can see your eyes now. Still black. And yet, you've grown a little paler. Have I? Well, you look a lot thinner. I know. Because I haven't been eating all that much. Still, I've had more than anyone else in Borker's Keep. But a bit more than nothing is still next to nothing. Do you mean there's not enough to eat for you all? That there's not enough food for everyone? Yes, that's right. None of us have had enough to eat for quite some time now. Ugh. We might not make it to spring. At this rate, I'm afraid we'll all be dead, just like you wanted. That's what you said. Remember? Maybe when we first met, but not anymore, Big. Now you're my brother. Oh. And I'll help you. My brother won't starve. to be for you. I'm not the one who's hungry. Anyway, there's plenty more where that came from. everyone starving in your fort. The thing is, when we moved here, we left everything behind. What little food we'd brought is finally running out. <sighs> Before we came here, we had goats and sheep and stores of food. Now horses are all we've got left. We stabled them for the winter with a farmer down beyond the forest. Thank goodness we did. 
Otherwise, we would have had to eat them. Can you imagine? <laughs> Ronya! Ronya! What's wrong? Nothing. I just wanted to make sure you were still here. <laughs> yes, of course I am. Still here. Good. <laughs> and so everything was as it used to be. Then Ronya wondered how Birk was getting on over at Borka's Keep. I hope he's warm right down to his toes, she thought. I'll ask him tomorrow.